Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Namrita here. Hope you all are doing good and keeping safe. And uh, I want to wish you all a very, very happy festive season, especially if you're watching it from India. Then you might be celebrating Durga Puja or Navratri right now. So I wanted to start this video with a very happy note but please make sure to stay at home as much as possible and um, keep safe anyway so in this video i'm going to share with you something which is completely opposite of what i normally do here so normally i share with you how to create looks and uh, do your makeup but today i'm going to share with you how to get rid of makeup and uh, how to remove your makeup properly with all the step by steps method whichever i follow and along with that i'm gonna share with you my thoughts on this uh, brush set uh, by the brand called duvol and they have been so generous to send me this entire kit although there is a backstory let me tell you i already used this brush head which is for cleansing your face and uh, they have uh, three other uh, brush head also which i haven't tried yet but i'm gonna share with you my thoughts and views on this and uh, i filmed the rest of the video uh, some other day a few days back but this introduction part i deleted accidentally that's why i thought to refilm it today so this is it and now if you want to see my entire makeup removing routine then please keep on watching all right let's start with this makeup removal wipes by neutrogena i'm in love with this makeup wipes i've been using it for years now these are so creamy and milky so it melts down your makeup instantly but if you're thinking how i created this look the one i'm wearing right now it's such a pretty look then please keep an eye on my insta feed i'm gonna link my insta handle in the description box below and also i'll be sharing it on screen so please make sure to follow me over there so at first i'm gonna start with this makeup wipes but trust me this is not the only step which i follow I always like to start my makeup removal routine with this kind of wipe, especially this one because I think it wipes off all the pigments, all the colors from face initially and now I can move ahead with the melting balm but if I use the melting balm first that will melt down everything and it will get everywhere and I think that's more messy. So I always start up with this one. So this is my skin after removing makeup with this wipe and now I'm going to follow the rest of the process and uh, for that I need to dampen up my skin. Okay, I just uh, washed my face with regular water and now I'm going to use this pharmacy very cherry cleansing balm. So this one is very very gentle to skin. I have been using it for months now. I got this from Boxajam, one of the best product I got from boxygem till date i love it so much and it's just like a cream but it melts into oil once you start massaging it all over your skin and i noticed uh, it melts down any kind of makeup be it waterproof long lasting or any kind of mascara it just works with each and everything and now i dampen up this clean towel with lukewarm water but if you want you can use normal water so all i'm gonna do is just wipe my face with it very gently and i'll also show you why those makeup wipes are not good enough to clean your makeup with you can see i had this much of makeup left on my skin and it just got removed now with this melting balm so you really need this kind of stuff in your life if you are into makeup or if you wear makeup on day-to-day -day basis then this is something is a must have not only this i loved another one from Dermalogica that's uh, their melting balm or something uh, similar and uh, if you don't have this kind of stuff then you can use uh, organic coconut oil that also works and now i'm going to clean my face properly so for that there has to be a cleanser so i'm going to use the cetaphil daily facial cleanser i have been using it for years now and uh, this one is specifically for normal to oily skin which i have i have combination skin but this one works great for me so i'm going to put a little bit of this cleanser on the brush but before i start using this brush let me share with you all the brushes and stuff it came up with so here is the main base unit and uh, it comes with four brushes and uh, i think these two are for face so this one is a little softer so this would be the cleansing brush 
this is a little coarse so it seems to be the exfoliation brush and uh, this is the body brush uh, for body this one is very interesting i'm gonna you know massage my back with this one and here is a pumice stone which you can use to remove all the dead cells from your feet from your elbow i think this would be very very useful especially during this pandemic because you can even you know do your pedicure at home with this one and uh, yeah this is it i'm so excited to try it although i tried the clarisonic one before and uh, this one is a lot cheaper than the clarisonic one uh, and uh, i also have a discount code that is namrata in all uppercase you can use that to get 70 percent off that's huge so if you want you can check uh, this product and i'm going to put all the links in the description box below make sure you check that out and at first i'm going to use this cleansing brush it Wow, it was very easy to attach this brush head. All you need to do is push and snap it on. You'll hear a little click sound that way you'll know it's attached properly. And now I'm gonna dampen up this brush with little water. Okay, the first thing I have to say is it's very, very easy to use, very fast free. All you need is four AA batteries to power it. It uh, runs on battery. You don't have to plug it in or charge it, anything like that. So it was very easy to use. And the best thing which I noticed is you can see it picked up a little residues of makeup which I had on my face. And uh, it was not that rough. My skin is not feeling irritated or something like that, which I normally noticed with other cleansing brushes so far i'm liking this brush and now i'm gonna wash my face very quickly and then i'll be back and i'm back with the clear skin and now i can tell you my skin is completely clean there is no makeup left or anything that sort of so now it's time to you know move forward with the skincare so whenever you are applying a toner with a cotton pad or something make sure there is no makeup uh, coming off in that pad so i'm gonna apply this pixie glow tonic how it should be if you get makeup on your toner pad that means you still have makeup on your face so at first you should take care of it and then do the skincare and now i'm gonna take a quick bath and then i'll be back with the rest of the skincare and i'm back after a good long shower i just blow dried my hair at this point i love my hair and now i need to get done with the rest of the skincare although i'm super tired right now let me tell you, I've done so many things today, although I'm feeling so accomplished. I checked off all the things I planned for today, that is cooking for next one day and film two videos. One is for Instagram, one is for YouTube, which I'm still doing and uh, so many other things. I cleaned up my closet, that was a mess. So yeah, so many things. And uh, now I will start with this overnight a serum this is also their uh, glow serum by pixie so i only use it a few drops just a you know smallest drops like this and i keep rolling it only in my cheeks and in my forehead area and a little bit here not around my eyes and whenever you're using any jade roller, make sure you do it outwards, not like back and forth. And for smaller areas, always use the small side. And if possible, keep it in refrigerator if it's cold. Then it will calm down your skin and it will remove all the redness and puffiness. So that would be so helpful. That's it. And now it's time for moisturizer. And lately I've been using this wishful honey bum moisturizer and i'm loving the texture of this moisturizer and it's very very hydrating to skin but if it was summer here i would have not 
use this because it's very very thick in consistency see it's just pure cream although i uh, personally like you know gel based moisturizer but this one is little different but i notice my skin loving it but uh, again i'm telling you if you are in some humid area then this might not be your moisturizer unless you have super dry skin Especially in night time, I don't mind piling up products on my skin. Rather, I love to over protect, over moisturize my skin at night. I think this is the time when your skin repair and heal. And uh, yeah, again, I'm telling you, this moisturizer is really, really good. It absorbs into your skin very quickly and moisturizes your skin. It doesn't irritate your skin at all. But again, this is not for everyone. It would be great if you have a normal to dry skin and especially for humid weather I don't think this would be the best product well I waited for two three minutes so that this moisturizer can get set on my skin get absorbed into the skin and now I can move forward with the last step that is this facial oil and again it's from wishful it's their gate event rose oil it's their new launch and uh, I've been using it for only like seven days not more than ten days but still I can tell you this is one of the best facial oil I've tried till date and the ingredients in this oil are so good and uh, this oil feels so light even lighter than the moisturizer but works so well makes my skin super soft and moisturized I love it so much if you ask me which one I'd repurchase I definitely repurchase this rose oil uh, although I was expecting this to be more like rosehip seed oil which I tried in the past although I like rosehip oil but that smell in it is so strong which I don't like but this one has very mild you know uh, fragrance uh, which is more like rose and you know mix of rose carrot and rosehip seed oil yeah this one has carrot seed oil in it so let me tell you the ingredients it's a rose carrot seed rosehip and baobab which is great mix of oil so if you are looking for a good facial oil you can definitely think of it although it's a little expensive but i think it's really worth the money it's that good but for the moisturizer it's not for everyone again i'm telling you so this is all about today's video i hope you found this video helpful then don't forget to hit the like button below and please check the description box below for all the product details and the required links i'll be mentioning everything over there and please follow me on my other socials and i'll be back with the next one till then bye bye take care